mother grew up in a society where women were frowned upon, where a woman's job was to get married at a young age, have children, and take care of the home. And if it became evident that she wanted to seek an education, travel the world, or God forbid, do something great with her life, she'd be told, leave that to the men. You are just a girl. And that didn't sit well with her. After having me, her fifth daughter, she knew that she wanted a better lifestyle for us. So she traveled to a foreign land, the land of hope, acceptance, and opportunity. Or so she thought. See, when I was younger, I used to be excited to live in a country that embraced me for who I was and who I wanted to be, but as I grew older, I came to realize that the only form of acceptance was conformity. And for the minority, nothing would be easy. Because of the pigment of my skin, you were taught that I am liable for all the corruption that manifests within our communities. Accused of every robbery and every murder, every rape and every crime that occurs while I am the one who has my innocence taken from me. From the stereotypes to the police brutality, I have become the target of a heartless society. Forgive me for having the audacity to believe that I was a valuable asset to my community. Being a black Muslim woman was never a walk in the park. Not knowing if people were staring at me because I covered my hair or because my skin was dark. Doesn't Islam oppress you? They'd say, well, no, my religion doesn't oppress me. The only oppression I receive is the one from society, where the objectification and exposure of women has become a necessity. Modesty being a shame and women paid and praised for their nudity. Forgive me for wanting to maintain my dignity, preferring to be respected than being grinned at, whistled at, or winked at by every man who passes me. Forgive me for the corruption, the tears and the fear and the hate that are a cause of assumption. I greet you in peace with a smile, just wanting to hold a conversation for a while, yet you scold me and you've told me to remove the cloth from my head because you don't like what it represents. But I refuse to, and let me inform you that I represent a nation and a verse from the revelation of Allah. Exalted and glorious is he who commanded me to not settle for the expectations of society, but to refute them if need be. Forgive me for being a black Muslim woman. Forgive me for simply wanting to practice my religion. Forgive me for the clothes that I'm in and forgive me for the dark complexion of my skin. But I don't blame you and I forgive you because you were taught to have a distorted perception. Thank you.